Hello, I thought I would start to make a series of videos regarding how Canvas can play with Captivate, what information they can send back and forth. I thought in this video I would deal with environmental variables that can be sent in and out of Captivate, as well as enabling the SCORM LTI and uploading a SCORM lesson. Move my head over here. In order to use any SCORM feedback, you will first have to ask your course administrator to turn on SCORM. And once the course administrator is turned on SCORM, you can navigate to whatever course you want to use SCORM with. You can navigate down here to settings for that particular course, navigation tab, and if your administrator has turned on the SCORM LTI, it should appear down here. And you can drag it, click it, and drag it up into the main menu there, wherever you want it. Hit save. And now it should appear in your menu for that course. I'm going to go ahead and take a SCORM lesson that I have made in Captivate. And we had talked in one of our meetings about whether or not environmental variables could be sent using URL shaping to Captivate, depending on the learning management system that's sometimes necessary. For Canvas, it is not. Once you turn on the SCORM LTI, it can automatically send variables like the student's name and student ID into the Captivate lesson. And you can retrieve that simply by selecting some text here. I'll move my head again. And you can click down here to insert a variable. If I want the student's name, for example, I can click the drop down, student name. This is a user variable. And hit OK. And it automatically populates that with a tag here. Select today's date, insert variable. If you want an explanation of what the variables are, you can click variables here and produce a pop-up menu. This is actually a system variable. Quite a few of those that you can play with and use throughout your course. And you can scroll down, let's see. Today's current date string. It'll tell you what format that string will be in. You can hit close. And it didn't save my settings, so I'm going to switch again to system. And then current date string, insert. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And publish the project for devices, HTML5 format. Replace the existing file. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and upload that into my course. We'll just go ahead and click course again. Testing course. Go to the SCORM tab here. and then you can upload SCORM. You can upload Captivate lessons, but they will not be able to provide feedback or quiz and test results until you enable the SCORM LTI and upload them through here. Click Open. Right now, the SCORM LTI appears to be naming everything the same. They will all show up as a Captivate e-learning course and you can choose to import that as a graded assignment or an ungraded assignment. I'm going to import it as a graded assignment since that's a primary benefit of SCORM. All right, once that is done, you can go to Assignments. And it is unpublished here. I'm going to make a quick edit to it. I'm going to click More Options. I'm going to rename it 
variables test. And right now, if a student were to click this assignment, it would open in the same tab. If you wanted to open in a new tab, which can come in useful, uh, you don't need to do any HTML uh, manipulation. In this circumstance, you can just click load this tool in a new tab and save and publish. If you just hit save, remember later to go back to your assignments and hit publish. It should appear in green. If it does not, if you do not hit publish, the students will not be able to see that test or assignment. I'm going to go ahead and show you what this assignment looks like from the student's point of view. You can go to home within your course, hit student view. Now this is what the course will appear as a student, how it will appear as a student. Click assignments, variables test, I haven't taken it yet, I'm going to take it now. and it will load in a new window here. There we go. As a Captivate lesson, play. As you can see, it has automatically populated with the name of the test student and today's date. So you know that those tags are working. The Captivate has successfully received those environmental variables sent from Canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and take this quiz now. Who will be the president? Nick Jonas, of course. Mm, Jack and Jill, you can do a fill in the blanks type of question. Hit submit. Mm, I'm going to purposefully get one wrong. There's the queen. You can do a typed answer. Got that wrong. You can do a matching. Submit. And here's a fun one. But sometimes glitches in mobile responsive works fine on desktop. But image map you can click. Submit, got it correct. Sometimes the hotspot moves around on mobile. And I got 80% on the quiz. I can click review quiz or I can click continue. And then exit out. And it should exit out. Go back to the student view. I'm going to click my grades and see, yes, it is successfully recorded there that I got an 80% on that variables test. And I can go back later and I can review the review my grades there if that's allowed by the teacher. All right. So we turn on the SCORM LTI. We uploaded a SCORM lesson and verified that it is working correctly. And we played around with a couple of basic environmental variables. And that is all for this video.